hopefully this one will work this is my third attempt at doing my first vlog it's been a bit of a disaster up to now with SD cards failing and one thing and another so hopefully we're there so this bit most likely will get deleted but just for me to know that hopefully we're there So, this is my first vlog, part four. It's taken me four attempts to do this far. I'll get past this roundabout. So, hello everyone. Indy Baker here. And this is my first ever vlog. So I thought, I'll get out and I'll uh, tell you a little bit about myself and hopefully you like my channel and uh, you can do a few more of these so my name is Dave Smith or Dave and like I said I'm going under the name of Indie Biker The reason the name Indie Biker, well, I love indie music, and I like biking, and I was born in 1970, so I thought, well, if I combine the few, the, the lot of them, I'll come up with Indie Biker 70, so that is what my name is going to be. Um, like I said, my name's Dave, 45 years of age, and I hail from Beverly, which is the same town as Cam Baker. And talking of Cam Baker, I've got him really to thank for me doing this. Well, not doing this, but um, I was thinking about doing it. But obviously Calm Biker, he lent me this camera what I'm actually filming with today to see if I enjoy it, see if I like it I presume and get to grips with with it all and get my first vlog out there So thanks a lot Calm, I appreciate that um, I've been out on a couple of, well a ride with him uh, did a little bit of a test route for his uh, ride out on the 27th of April I think I'm correct in saying that so I will definitely be going along to that and hopefully see a few new faces and make some more friends and we generally catch up with a few people which will be really really nice and it's a really good ride out really really nice around North Yorkshire so I'm really looking forward to that 
Um, yeah, he was the one who uh, let me this camera and give me a lot of advice and one thing and another. So, you know, a really helpful guy, really nice guy. So, yeah, I really appreciate the the, uh, the time he's given me and obviously lending me this camera. And I have to say, I will be getting my own because I absolutely enjoy it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, like I say, I'm 45 years of age. I'm a plumbing and heating engineer. Um, have been since I was 15, so I haven't really done anything else. But I really enjoy my job, and hopefully, not in the new distant future, there'll be a new horizons opening up for me, which will allow me to get out on my bike a bit more. Um, so I'll be coming off my tools and becoming more office-based as a contracts manager, which will be amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, I passed my test about eight months ago, seven, eight months ago now. Um, passed it, to, well, I say passed it first time. Um, I failed my Mod 1 first time because um, I put my foot down on the slalom, can you believe? Uh, we did it perfect every time, all the time when I was in the um, practicing on the yard and everything and then came to my test bingo, bloody foot down so that was an instant fail uh, obviously gutted but kept going, kept at it um, and then went the second time and passed then did my mod 2 and passed that first time and obviously passed my um, theory and hazard perception which if I'm quite honest was a lot harder than I was expecting to be honest it was quite uh, I don't know really quite tricky but anyway I passed it so that was the main thing um, bought myself my first bike uh, got myself a Honda Hornet Honda Hornet FS Y 600 uh, 2000 model got 30 2000 miles on the clock I think but absolutely tons and tons of service history so I didn't think that was too disastrous to be honest um, and it's absolutely a dream to drive to ride even um, it's never let me down it starts first time every time so I can't really ask for any more than that really uh, I've done a few modifications to it myself i.e. heater grips I presume that's a bit of a standard thing um, opt optimizer again I'm sure that's a bit of a standard thing um, oil change and filter change um, I'm going to get a belly pan for it which I've ordered which will be going on in the next couple of weeks well hopefully next weekend if it comes um, so yeah, I'm just tarting it up slightly. Come the winter though, I'm gonna take it to bits. Take it, you know, because I'm, I'm not really mechanically minded really. It's, this is the first time I've really got mechanically minded into anything, which is uh, really good. I'm really enjoying it. So obviously I have uh, taken over the parents' garage to now be my workshop, which obviously they're absolutely over the moon about not but hey what are parents for he 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 says he with a 22 year old son who drives him absolutely around the bend but anyway so yeah I've uh, taken over the garage um, so I'm just enjoying tinkering with the bike taking it to bits and fuel tank off etc so you know just stripping it down slightly giving it a clean putting it back together then I'll get a little bit more in depth and then a little more in depth so like I say come the winter time I'm hoping to strip it completely down and um, basically do a, 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 a kind of a restoration I suppose on it I uh, got it looking back something like I mean I got it for a great price I thought um, the guy was really really nice guy who sold it to me um, you know I paid 900 pounds for for the bike which really you know it's cheap, very cheap I think um, and like I say, I haven't let me down, insurance is cheap cheap to run, so yeah, happy days over the moon yeah, I'm planning on keeping it for a year, maybe 18 months and then moving on to something a bit bigger once I've got a little bit more 
street of wear. Um, don't really know what I fancy to be honest, but something just a little bit bigger. But I think for now, this is uh, ideal for what I need. It gets me on the road, gets me uh, a few miles under my belt, and keeps me uh, keeps me out of mischief. Well, hopefully, anyway. Um, yeah, the reason I took my bike test, well, it's something I've been wanting to do for a lot of, a lot of years, really. But obviously, with one thing and another, kids and work commitments and one thing, I just didn't really have the time. But then I made the time and uh, just went and booked it in a, on a basically like a block booking, and I was just forced to do it. Then I'd paid my money, and I wasn't going to not go and do it. So I went and did it, and it's the best thing I've done, to be honest. I absolutely think it's fantastic. Like I say, I hail from Beverly. Actually, born at Beverly Westwood Hospital, which ironically is about two minutes away from where I'm living now. And like I say, it's the same place that Cam Bike is from, so hopefully, I'm going to be getting out in the summer with him a few more times. Why did I decide to do a bit of vlogging? Well, I'd watched quite a lot of videos on YouTube and really enjoyed them. Watched, um, I don't know, like I say, Infamous Biker. I really enjoy his videos. They're really good. Calms, Calm Biker, sorry. Um, watched a little bit of Del Boy's Garage. Kind of informative. Um, Steve Hornet 900, even, but I haven't seen him for a long time on there, to be honest. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Hope he's alright. Maybe he's just got a bit bored and having a bit of a break. And um, there's a few more, I oh, just can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, I just really enjoyed them. I thought, hmm, that is something I think I'd enjoy doing. So here I am, having a go. Possibly uh, it's going to be a little bit ropey. It's possibly going to be a little bit uh, not very good. But it's my first attempt and obviously live and learn. But at least I've uh, got rid of my vlogging cherry, as they say. So on the story of vlogging, what was your first vlog like? Were you nervous? Did you, uh, did you have a plan what you were going to say? Did you... Um, kind of rehearse it before you came out I mean to be honest I've just come out on my bike and I haven't got an idea what the hell I'm gonna say to be honest I've just come out and babbling um, I presume that's just the best way to do it you have no real preconceptions of what you're supposed to be doing uh, just basically I'm just gonna sprout what comes into my head which I presume is not a good thing or not a bad thing so if I offend anybody I'm very sorry. I don't mean to. Um, far from it, anyway. I'm not the kind of person that uh, enjoys upsetting anybody. Obviously, I have a point of view and an, an opinion, but if it's not meant uh, to cause any harm or offence, it's just my opinion. And if anybody, obviously, disagrees or doesn't... Uh, finds it offensive and I'm sorry but that's just the way it is that's, that's just my feelings and obviously I'm open for I'm not that much of a male chauvinist or stubborn that I won't listen to other people's point of view and change my mind I think that's what it's all about to be honest you know you've got to be open-minded and listen to others that's what it's all about oh nice rev um, so yeah,
Bloody traffic lights. Ah, oh, we're off. Nothing coming. That was a bit of a bad move. I had a sudden change of height where I was going. But there was nothing coming, I did check, honestly. Honestly, mother, I did check. Honestly. Yep, there we go. Motor to mic. Mr. Policeman, give me a nod. That was nice of him. Uh, yeah, going back to uh, policeman. I'm uh, thinking of doing my um, road safety course. I think it's road safety course. I don't, you know, I book it on um, line, and it's at Beverly um, poli little police station there for a day. About forty quid, I think it is. Uh, I know Cam was mentioning it, and I think Infamous Bike has done it as well. So uh, something I'm definitely going to do. And then from there, I'm going to go to the, one of some IMA meetings, and uh, well, basically just become a try and become a, a better rider um, well that's a sorry better rider a safer rider um, obviously I've been driving a car since I was I don't know what 17 passed my test so I've got a little bit of road sense but Boy, it's so different on a motorbike, in a car, you know, you are kind of uh, protected to a certain degree, well, to a lot of degrees, on a bike it's just you and basically the tarmac, and generally it's through the fault of the idiots that are going into you, so I just think it's a very good idea. Not that I'm not aware now of uh, situations that are going to arise and one thing or another, but I just think it's good to, you know, learn it from a biker's perspective. So, definitely going to do that. And obviously it gives you a few more skills in your riding. You know, I'm not trying to run before I can walk, but I just think the better your habits become at an early stage, you know, the better... Oh, sorry, I'm, I hate saying the word, a better rider you're going to be. The safer you will be on the bike. I hate this thing about, I'm a better rider than you, and all well, that malarkey. I mean, at the end of the day, crikey. I'm not really bothered. All I want to be is safe. No, it's not a competition, I'm just enjoying biking. You know, I'm not really a speed demon. I'm not into this... Uh, I'm sure I will do. You know, I just want to learn the basics first and get my cornering techniques right and one thing and another. Good God, is this video really boring? I'm sure it is, to be honest. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there thinking, bloody hell. Honestly. We can watch this while we watch the paint dry. Jogger. They're everywhere. So, yeah. Right, I think I'm going to end it here. But let me neck, yeah, um, I didn't think about subscribers or likes or even shares, crazy. Well, if you uh, think these videos, well, hopefully they will improve. But if you enjoyed it or, you know, you want to put a comment on the bottom, that would be amazing. Uh, if you want to like my page, again, amazing. And if you want to subscribe, that would be unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic if you want to subscribe, it would be amazing. And obviously I'll subscribe back. Um, like I say, it's my first ever vlog, so... Oh, be, please be gentle with me. Um, I have got quite a thick skin, to be honest. You have to be to be, to be a plumber. I've got a thick skin and I've got a box full of excuses. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Well, I have actually, but we won't share them. So anyway, that's it. So if you'd like to uh, 
obviously share and subscribe amazing and I'll uh, hopefully see you out and about on a, a ride out or two but anyway I'm gonna say my goodbyes keep your bums on your seats and I'll speak to you soon drop <laughs>